Hey everybody, come on in. Cooking dinner again is going to be another quick one. I'll tell you what, this week I already knew it was going to be a hectic week and I knew I had to cook. Just like I say, got Kareem still hanging out with me. I was going to cook something anyway. But anyhow, I'm going to make it real fast and easy again tonight. On the menu, it's going to be some, uh, I've got some porterhouse steaks. I already seasoned them down. Two nice steaks. I'll probably just eat a half of one. Kareem is the meat eater. I'm not a real big meat eater. Um, some nice porterhouse steaks. Got them seasoned down with some garlic powder, some onion powder, some a little black pepper, um, and some um, like a beef flavored um, broth mix just to give it that little extra bit of flavor. I'm just going to put them in here and pan fry them. I like mine sort of uh, medium rare. Kareem, here he is in the way I put it on the plate. So I'm probably do between medium, not quite medium well, but not quite medium rare, but somewhere in between there I'm going to cook them. And I'm uh, going to cook them down um, with some sliced onions. I've already sliced up some onions. We like onions with our steak. Probably not going to do bell pepper. But onions is just good with steak for me. Then, after I finish frying the steaks, I'm going to put in this 12 ounce package of broccoli florets. I'm just going to pan fry it too. It's going to be like a stir fried broccoli. And I'm going to do some uh, right there. This pan right here, all that stuff going on in there is some almond milk, uh, black pepper, just a little bit of salt. Uh, a chicken bouillon cube and of course some butter real butter I'm gonna in uh, I'm gonna put some uh, food line instant potatoes in that I think I got a cup and a half of milk in that so depending on how many you want to make so I'm making this for two people so these are these food line instant potatoes are good so I use them all the time love them I don't go to all that trouble to peel potatoes because the instant ones taste good after I get them all doctored up and then as a little extra uh, treat for dinner I'm doing some deviled eggs so I'm gonna go ahead and get these steaks going in the pan because I want to get this dinner on and going I want to get my teeth in it it's been another long day had a lot of paperwork and stuff to do didn't hang around the office too much I had a long long meeting earlier today and I did that for about let's see I went to that meeting at 10 45 and I believe we got out at 12.45, so that's a couple hours meeting. It was a great meeting it was concerning uh, the school where I mentor at. I'm so excited for that school and for those children, uh, for the program that they're putting together. So I really enjoyed that meeting. I didn't have to do a lot of talking. Um, we've had a few issues there, and I prayed before I left, and I going to the meeting, and I prayed also uh, the week before that, Lord, Whatever part I'm going to play in this, I don't want to have to, to cough and do a whole lot of thinning and proving and fixing and doing. And I prayed just before I left this morning. I said, Lord, let this be the type of meeting that I walk in. They've got it all outlined and everything is laid out and it will be well with my soul. And what do you know? That's exactly what happened. Had a good attendance at the meeting and everything was about the children. And that's what I liked about it the most was that. It was all about the kids and not about who's going to head this committee or that one. Uh, the individual that conducted the meeting did a super, super job. I am looking forward to working with that program, so I'm good. So, anyway, I had some other running around to do for my nonprofit. I had some work. I was going to remember the paperwork that I had to redo. Finally got it turned into where it needed to be turned into. Got up the stairs, got... Uh, in the office I needed to be in was turned in and the lady said uh, ma'am I'm sorry but you're missing one sheet and I thought you gotta be kidding me I just had it copied I know I, I said so. she said no ma'am you're missing one sheet and I thought oh lord okay I said let me go back to the car and what do you think happened when I started out the door for the car it rained so hard that I thought I wasn't going to be able to get out the door but I made my way out got wet there was the paper laying on the back seat of the car. And, you know, sometimes when you're doing things to help people, you can get discouraged. But you know what? 
on the way out, the uh, security guard, because it was a secure building I was in, he said to me, oh, you going back out? I said, yep, left some paper. And I came back in. And he said, did you get it? I said, yep, found it. I said, you know, it's amazing how things can get in your way when you're trying to help people. I said, but I'm not going to be discouraged. He said, no, ma'am, don't be discouraged. I said, no, because I'm trying to help somebody. I said, I'm soaking wet, but I found that paper. So, y'all, I got that paperwork turned in. Probably won't hear from it for another couple of weeks. But praise the Lord. Thank Jesus. I got it turned in. So, got that done. That, as tired as I was, I felt better. Then, I am just going to flip these steaks over. Okay. Oh, Lord, they smell good, y'all. Smell good. Anyway, so I got all that done. And after I did that, I, well, before I did that, I went and visited one of my adopted daughters who has a shop downtown. So I went and visited with her and uh, sat and talked with her a couple of hours. So I did a little community work today. So anyway, then I had to go to Sam's Club, got wet again, but that's okay. I had a couple errands to do for one, one of my girls. So I got that all done, and here I am. So I decided, I thought about I was going to have pizza. So I called Kareem, I said, Kareem, rather, would you rather have pizza or would you have like to have some barbecue chicken? He said, pizza. And when I started walking around Sam looking for pizza, I thought to myself, you know what, I got steaks in my freezer. I got all kinds of meat, so it doesn't take that long. So I decided we're doing steaks. So here I am. We're doing steaks. We're having steaks, broccoli, and cream potatoes. And I'm working on these deviled eggs over here on the side. Uh, I'm sure most of us have made deviled eggs at one time or another. This is an all-time favorite. Everybody, I think, loves deviled eggs. Maybe the 10 people that don't. I mean, I don't know why. I certainly love them, so I'm going to make Kareem and I some deviled eggs. Sometimes when I feel real tired and have a long day, I like to treat myself extra. A little bit extra work, but who knew? So, this is eight eggs. All I did was hard boil them, cut them in half, of course. And um, I'm going to put a couple of tablespoons of mayo in there. A dash of, um, can you see me? Okay. About a half a teaspoon of mustard, and I'm of course you know I'm gonna put a dash of uh, sugar in there. Got my little sugar dish sitting back there. Um, actually, I got some brown and some white sugar in this sugar dish. It doesn't matter as long as it's sweet. Dash that little bit of sugar in there, and I'm also gonna put some. Um, those steaks are gonna fry about four minutes on each side. So, also going to put just a, probably about an eighth of a teaspoon in that amount of um, egg mixture. And as you know, uh, all you do is just mix them up a dash of salt, just a little bit. All I do with this, folks, the other legs are probably one of the, the, the easiest things there is to make because um, I mean, you just don't really have to do a lot. So, mayo. A little salt and pepper, a dash of sugar, a little mustard, and you got the filling for your deviled eggs. You know what? The most work, yum, the most work for doing deviled eggs, I find, is, uh, boil, is peeling the eggs. I'm going to put just a dash more of uh, mayo in there. Just a little dash more. And of course, I had a little dash more of mayo. I got to do a little dash more sugar. Okay. I'm going to use this same spoon to go ahead and dish my. And then once you get it all mixed up, all you got to do is get the egg filling into the egg. Into the. Uh, for, you know the egg halves. That's all you gotta do. So these are ready to go in. That steak needs to be flipped one more time, and then I'm gonna get it out of that skillet because I think then it'll probably be between what right where I want it. 
So all you gotta do is just do this. I mean, this is a real easy task here. So I'll just let you see me do a couple. Then I'm, since I got that steak going, I'm gonna go ahead and um, turn the camera off. And I'll get those cream potatoes in the pan. They're gonna be, that our milk is gonna be hot in just a minute. So I'm just gonna be back in a couple seconds. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I got the cream potatoes going. The eggs are done. I garnished them up a little bit with paprika. So, we're going to eat those right along with the steak and broccoli and cream potatoes. And that little wedge that you see in those cream potatoes is some creamy Swiss cheese. Sometimes I put the cheddar in those uh, cream potatoes, but this time I have a lot of that uh, creamy Swiss cheese. And it just jills these potatoes up, honey. When you get, when I get through with them, you don't know if they're gourmet out of the box or if I peeled them right out of the, the potato patch. So, again, the key to good cooking, I put one wedge, but you know me, I'm a little bit extra. Now that one wedge is good, and I could stop with one wedge, but because I want some, I want a wow factor. I'm gonna put one more wedge. Of cream cheese in there. Swiss cream cheese. It's that laughing cow thing. I had lots of those. I bought a lot of those last week. And, uh, but anyway, what you got going on here, I got my onions and some broccoli going on. And remember, I told you um, lemon pepper seasoning seasons broccoli. It, it just gives broccoli another pizzazz. And I'm not going to put a lot of salt on this because I cooked the uh, broccoli and the onions right in the pan where I took that steak out at. So, I'm just going to let those um, sort of get nice and soft. Probably add a little bit more um, olive oil to the mix. Can y'all see? Yeah, y'all can see. You can see what's going on there. Let's just get right there. Put a little bit more olive oil on that. Olive oil is nice and healthy, so. Mmm, love olive oil. When I was in Spain, we ate lots of olive oil. It was pure, unadulterated, uninterrupted, hot off the presses, real olive oil. And I used to always say the stinkier, the better. As far as olive oil is concerned. And of course, you know, I'm going to dash a little bit of garlic powder in there. Okay. And a little teaspoon of some sweet seasoning on top of there. I've already got my lemon pepper in there. So this is a 12 ounce package of uh, frozen broccoli. I didn't use fresh this time. Remember, quick and easy tonight. So 12 ounce package of uh, frozen broccoli. And one medium onion. And I say I fried. I'm using this one pan to do it all, just about except for the cream potatoes. So I got my veggie, my starch, and of course my meat over there is going to be the steak. So I got this heat on high. So when you stir frying, because I notice there's no juice in the pan, just because I don't want any juice in the pan. So I'm going to taste one. Yum yum, I see them coming. Mmm. So Kareem and I are going to have us a great, great, great. Mm. You cannot beat veggies. I'm telling you, I just love my veggies. Love, love, love my veggies. Put a little bit of soy on there. That's, that's soy sauce, y'all. Just a little bit of soy sauce. Okay. I've got my steaks out there. I'll call the steaks. And what I'm going to do, because I've had them sitting out for a little bit, I'm going to take these steaks and then I'm just going to lay them right on top of my veggies here. One and two. And that'll just sort of heat them right back up a little bit. 
Mm. Okay, this meal is just about done. And I tell you what, I'm ready for it. I am completely ready for it. Not just about ready, I am ready for this meal. Um, I think for reasons up there, it's probably worth my music. So I'm going to call him down in a minute and I'm going to plate uh, the food and I'm going to show you what it looks like on the plate. So, all the thing I need to do now is just go ahead and stir that cream cheese and fill up the table. You talk about something that tastes good. You've got to try these cream potatoes. Okay, if you want to try them, what I've got in here, like I say, is a cup and a half of milk or cream, however you want to use it. One cup of instant potatoes, food line if you like. Uh, a half a stick of butter. Two wedges of creamy Swiss cheese by Laughing Cow. And one uh, chicken bouillon cube. One teaspoon of um, garlic powder. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. You just mix it around in there and let it go. And it's a good, 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 good meal. I'm trying to get that steak off. I don't want, I don't want my steak to cook. And I'm sure that steak is going to end up being medium well since I put it back in there. But that's okay. It will eat at any level of cooking. It can be medium well, medium rare, whatever. It's just a preference. But I think mine is still going to be um, medium well. So not going to worry about it. What we're going to do now, like I said, I'm going to go off camera a minute and plate this. And we're going to come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, there it is, y'all. It's on the plate, on the table. I'm getting ready to sit down, relax, and enjoy my steak, cream potatoes, broccoli, and onion stir fry. And, of course, I got my devil eggs on there. I'm going to eat them, too. And y'all see it up there in the corner. Salsa. What else? I eat salsa with everything. And that strange-looking little yellow cup there, it was sitting in food line, minding its own business. Guess how much? 35 cents. I had to have it, so I grabbed it. So it's going to be my new favorite cup. You'll be seeing it on the table for a few times when I eat from now on. So thank you all for tuning in, stopping by, watching me whip up this quick meal on Wednesday evening. I'm getting ready, y'all, to check out and say good night to y'all. Love y'all. Happy eating to Lou. Oh, don't let me sign off before I say this. As we know, we still got people who are going through and enduring these storms. So, of course, the people who started out in Houston uh, and even Irma that came on through and tore up various other areas. And now we've got yet another storm brewing over in Mexico and Puerto Rico. Please continue to pray for those individuals because they're still going through. We're all feeling the effects. Some people that I know... Uh, around here in my town have people in mexico so please continue to pray uh, for our sisters and brothers no matter where they are whether we know them or not let's go ahead and uh, continue to pray and we'll uh, continue to pray for each other because we never know when those storms are going to hit us so just wanted to come back and say that um just to keep us praying for each other and for all of you youtubers who were affected by these storms glad to know that you're doing well shout out to you been praying for you and will continue to pray for you so now i'm going to say to lou take care love y'all and until we cook again good night